morning guys welcome to today's video today is friday today is show prep and today is all about me ruby, ruby. it's all about ruby first we bought molly and then we bought daisy and today ruby is going to get a little bit of extra love all right miss ruby oh put her leash on she hey. has her leash on it is time to get this girl her her fall haircut she's gonna get pampered and beautified look at those kittens she's excited Ruby. just let her go let her walk let her smell they actually have uh, some dog food here we should check out sophie you can look at collars and leashes collars and leashes oh now yeah. she's like Go ahead. Yeah, she's like, I know what's happening. She found another dog. Oh, is that a doodle too or cocker spaniel? Uh, she is a Portuguese water dog. Ooh, I love those. Llamas on it. Sophie wants this collar because it has llamas on it. Is it small enough for her? I think so, cause the blue one I got her. I thought her color was yellow. I thought her color. don't have any yellow. I know colors. we picked a bad color. So now we're gonna check out the dog food here. Oatmeal. No, lifetime. Fish meal and oatmeal. We don't even read our our food packages as much as we do the puppy one, huh? Find a bag with a Dalmatian on it, and we're golden. Please. All right, so let's go. The one. I love the orange one. I think because yeah, it's bright. It's really heavy duty and won't break easily. Yeah, and it's good for fall. Uh -huh. Get her this one some other day. Yeah. And then this one, this is very. Yeah, that's a, and you could put your uh -huh. light on that. Oh yeah. Border collies. I know. There's, there's border collies on every. <laughs> Poor Ruby. Okay, so I got Daisy um a little unicorn. Yeah, she's gonna love it. It's, it's like super a floaty, crinkly. Yep. And it has something inside to make it crinkly. And then my mom bought this collar for her. It's orange. It's the closest we'll get. Okay, so the girls ran into the grocery store all on their own. I'm Gabby. so used to masks. I know, now, me I too. Don't really bother oh, me. I know, the same. same. Okay, so show them what you got. All right. You got the bread that I'll never buy so anymore. I got anymore. cheese bread. Yeah. Did you get bacon? Yeah. I came into the store to get bacon. This is the kind that you normally get, though. Is it? Yeah, I thought so. So That's this is the thing. You go in the store for one thing, and then they trick you into yeah. buying more. What else did you get? Um, it was my money, though. Yeah, she's oh her God. own money, you guys. It's a miracle. I almost bought the chocolate stuff that she put into milk mm. because one was six dollars, but it was like buy one get one free wow. of the six dollar one. So I'm like, mm, I want to get it. Then the other one's like four dollars. So she bought flavored water, zero calorie. You guys know we have not encouraged Molly to do any jumping. We did not even know if she knew how to jump or if she would like jumping or if she could jump. But watch, sit. Come here, puppy. Sit, puppy. <laughs> uh oh, careful. <laughs> I just was sitting here and I, I was going to give the, pu the puppy a little tiny treat. So I told her to sit. And as soon as I said sit, Molly just came flying out of the kitchen and jumped over our, our barrier. And now she's trying to get my salmon sandwich, which is not for you. Mwah, it's not for you. See, she knows sit. It'll be cooked. You know what bacon looks like when it's cooked? That's when it's cooked. She's a smart puppy. Come. Sit. Sit. Paw. Good girl. Eight weeks old, you guys. Okay, so we are back in the car. This time we got... Hey, Molly. Molly. This time we got Miss Molly and miss daisy and we are going to pick up our girl ruby every time our dogs get their hair cut it makes me feel like they're a brand new dog like i love cuddling and rubbing on ruby when she's all soft and fresh and clean are you glad though that your dog doesn't need to get shaved i know because then like literally it's cheaper than ruby because yeah. ruby has to get shaved i know it's so expensive too but it's easier if you just do it did you guys know that Dalmatians are one of like are a big shedder? They shed all year practically and they shed like a lot. They are huge shedders compared to some other breeds. I didn't know that. I absolutely love this groomer. Like the prices are actually better here than a lot of other places and she does such a good job and she's kind and I like that. I have heard horror stories about people getting their dogs groomed but I like it here a lot. 
<laughs> this baby her. can't get down on the ground. Up. Oh, she's got her hackles up. Yeah. Cause she can smell all the other dogs. Hopefully she's good. I didn't go. recognize her. Oh, Ruby, you look so pretty. I had to take she's, a little bit more. No, that's good. She's so excited. So yeah. No, oh, no, I'm fine with that. I'm happy with her. I like it. I should book another appointment though. Okay. Right, let's see it. Let's see it, Miss Ruby. You look so cute. You look like a poodle. She had to take off her face. I'm glad that they didn't leave that much fur on. The reason they had to take all the hair off of her face is because, do you guys remember when she ate a burr recently? Well, I got most of them out, but then she got more into them. Like, she had burrs just around her lips and we could never get them out. She got burrs all around her lips and it made it really hard to keep it on. Like, I tried picking them off, like just little teeny tiny ones right up close to her lip and it was really hard to pick off. So that's the reason that she had to take off a lot of her face hair. Usually we leave it, but she's gonna get done again at the end of November and be perfect for Christmas. I'm super excited. It's almost Christmas, you guys. But now that we have like all the horses we need mostly and all the dogs that we have that we need, no, we what are we gonna get? Bowl. What are we gonna get for Christmas? Maybe Manger Sam will surprise me with a horse. It's the only thing we have left to get. The cats have been kind of disappearing a bit. They were here this morning. We have to come down in the morning to see them. Mom, you ready to see this Molly? Come here. Okay, let's see it. Molly's chasing a little red dot on the ground. Scratching down her, her nails. Gabby just Watch. cut them though. Just do that a few. Well, she'll, she'll pounce on it. She oh, she tries. pounces on it. She tries to kill it by pouncing on it. All right, so it is time to head to the barn and do our show prep. And then we also have our show before the show lesson. So we have to pack all this stuff up, take it so, to the barn. I won't have any mane to hold on to. Yeah, so we're gonna braid until people have no mane to hold on to. Are you uh, gonna dress into some riding clothes? Yeah. Okay. We don't even have everything ready and set up yet. Like, we don't even know what is happening. We need a bucket. You know it's gonna match my booty. We need a bucket for our bathing. I always like to tell our ponies where we're going. We're going to the barn, you guys, to see the boys, and then we'll be back, okay, Gracie? We'll be back. We'll be back to see you. We love horses. Look at how, how thick her tail feels. Like, her, her, what is on your tail? Her tail seems, her tail seems thicker than normal. She's like, don't touch my tail. I hate when you do that. Her tail is actually thinner. Molly, stop playing with the hose. <laughs> Come on now. The kittens must be out there because the dogs are. She has not managed to swallow a piece of poop yet. Good, don't let her eat the poop. I hate dogs eating poop. She runs outside just to get the horse poop. Molly barely does that anymore. It's, it's crazy dog. how a dog learns so fast. Like you just think that you're never gonna get better and then all of a sudden it's better. I'm bringing up my horse stuff because every time I wanna help and do stuff with the horses, they never have the stuff that I like. Is it the same for you where you like what you like and that's it? Like I only like to use my own brushes and stuff because I have the things that I like the things that I find work, and the stuff that they like drive me crazy. I only like my stuff, except for this. I you, love this. You like that? Yeah, Finn loves it. It is so easy to see how cute and amazing a puppy is, but you know what is real, you guys? This dog right here. This dog has done nothing but be amazing from the moment that we brought her home. Nothing but amazing. Right, Ruby? She's just been such an amazing girl. She takes everything in stride. She's fit into our life like a glove and she's been awesome. I think she's our best dog. I think she's the best dog we ever had. Miss Ruby. where the light switches are in this barn all the light switches anyway we brought our stuff we brought our big trunk because it has a lot of our stuff in it so this is gonna be super unorganized getting ready and it is a scorching day outside it's actually really hot and they're cutting down a tree out front I'm not gonna lie show prep is the is the worst thing on earth 
Oh, that's where the light switches are? The first one is okay. down there. Okay. And the last one's for up here. Okay, good job. It's true. If you guys have never been to a horse show, the getting ready is the worst thing of earth. Like, it takes hours. It's backbreaking. You have to stand on a stool, try and braid a moving object. Except for storms. Storms are pretty easy. Storms good. Laid back. Storms easy, like 10 braids and you're done. So, so Gabby and I have worked out a whole plan though. Uh oh, where are they? Hiding. So we're only gonna bring in one horse at a time. Bath him. My eyes play tricks with me because it makes it look like the fence is there. Scorching hot, but by the time we're done this day, it's gonna be freezing cold. So like you have to dress appropriately. So I brought a winter coat. Yeah, so if you brought a winter coat. <laughs> I brought a jacket. And we're also having lessons. Yeah, and we're also having lessons, which is gonna like make this day crazy. But we're just gonna have a we light have lesson. We're gonna have a light lesson. We're doing storm first. Yeah, because it's the easiest. Why are we following Gabby? She's leading us through the poop. I got my white sneakers on. I was dumb. It's muddy. Yeah. Our horses have gotten to be friends. Like that's why it's so good to put horses together over a fence for a long period before you introduce them. Because our horses safer? really love the horses down here because they can't like get close together so they don't fight. Oh, There's a fence you. separating them. So yeah, this is where they hang out in the deep dark woods out of the sun. And yesterday Storm shared a shelter with Chino. With cappuccino. Look at that Here. nice rig rock. You're blind. Blind how? You couldn't see him. I saw him. You said where's Chino? No, I didn't. Yeah, I said Storm shared a shelter with Chino. Come on, let's go. It's already stressful. Oh my gosh, okay. Sophie. I was hoping your horse wouldn't need a bath. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, that's an awful cut on him. Don't you think it's a coincidence? It's just hair missing. Don't you think it's Let's a Let's spray it with that blue stuff. I no, got a no, cut no. on my foot. Storm got the cut on his foot. I picked off the scab on my foot the other day and it started bleeding. Then his cut bled the same day. Yeah. All right, let's go because we got a lot to do. Okay. So we're just going to take one horse at a time. Okay, I need to check Chino for shoes. Oh my God, don't even check him for shoes. It makes me nervous. Why do you have to put me through this every single time? I'm telling you, I always lose my mind. Hey, you not want me to catch that cut? Two shoes. Two shoes after a big long ride. So Chino's not being ridden today, you guys. He's having a rest. Everybody wants to know why you haven't ridden Chino Storm too much this week. Um, he needs his Storm energy. needs his energy. Last year, we didn't ride Storm for one whole week. And man, show and he was still really lazy. Oh, but he's different now because he's got better feet. But he Why are you eating sticks? stop eating sticks. There's lots of hay back there for you. Yeah. Go there. Oh my gosh, why oh are you doing God. that? Some horses do really good if you ride them every single day. Some horses do better. Oh, that's Finn's mane. oh my gosh, there is Finn's mane <laughs> or Finn's tail. Yeah, that's his tail. He's scratching. Um. Oh, tail, that's Chino. Tail. That's probably Chino. Um, is that mostly brown? Yeah, and some red. Okay, stop looking at the tree, Sophie. Storm does better when he has time to rest and recuperate. So he is being ridden today. He was supposed to be ridden yesterday and then have the day off before the show. But we're just going to ride them lightly. All we're going to do tonight is show prep. Hopefully, I have to tell Brandon that's all we want to do. We just want to do a couple of jumping courses. Get the girls feeling good, and Mom, then boys coming. and then call it the call it quits Get after that. In. Gabby, nobody holds the tree branches. Yeah, Only you. Finn. So now that Gabby has fixed Storm and fixed Chino, in terms of like what they need to be ridden successfully, Gabby needs to be riding Chino a lot more so she can build a rapport with him, build a relationship with him, and really get him working as a part of her team because he's her show horse for Trillium next year. I'm not gonna lie, this is our most stressful day of life. All wet. But then after you get to the show and you get up there and you start showing, it's all worth it. No, but, it's more stressful. Yeah, once you get there, it's way more stressful. Like, you have no, no idea. Holding, no, I'm going, I gotta get my braiding stuff ready. Oh, it's gel. Dude, it's your 
tail. Okay, well. Uh oh. Don't stand on the hose, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Our horses are smarter than you think. He stands on the hose. He knows where the water comes from. So, Gabby just told me. See three sections? That that brush is really good. It splits the hair into three sections and oh, makes God, it easier. Even. Okay. Ooh, I so. Don't have a Cool. Why can I use your tack trunk? Do you have your tack trunk here? Do you have your tack trunk here? Your little tack box? We'll use that bucket. Oh God, I'm standing on a bucket. Oh, okay. I know we have a stool. Okay, bring me a stool. Cause... Oh. oh, that's awesome. All right, Storm, listen, you know the drill. You're getting ridden tonight too. So basically I'm gonna be standing on this stool and braiding Stormy Boy at the same time. The boy who hasn't been ridden in days, which basically means he's gonna be yeah. All right, but you can't. You got to take their. All right, go yeah, ahead. Go get the rest of those boys. Wait, let me... Um. So this is my stuff for braiding. I got Storm's wool, yarn. I've got this best braid, which is just makes it easier. I've got my brew. I've got my got my pull through. Got my scissors. Got my comb. Got all the things that I need. Good luck. You'll be fine. He'll come for you. So essentially, uh, he's not going to be happy till his friends come in. And normally, when we braid at our barn, he's the best one. He is not the best one today. You are not the best one today. He's like, please love me. Get, oh, Debbie's going to have fun riding him tonight. That's for sure. All right, we're moving along, you guys. This is hell. I'm not even joking. So, how many braids did we get, Stormy Boy? Two, four, six, eight, ten braids. Ten braids, thin, tiny little braids. A lot of really kind people send us links to how to do different braids that are like easier and look pretty. Unfortunately, um, in the hunter world in Canada, you're only allowed hunter braids. Only one kind of braid, like you can't do any other kind of braid, so we're stuck doing braids. Okay, so if you wanna know what braiding your horse is like, all of you guys get up out of your chair. Come on, I'll wait for you. Stand up beside your computer. Put your hands at your shoulders width like this, forward, far from your body. Hold them there for, I don't know, let's say three hours. Hold them there for three hours. Let me know in the comments below how long it takes for your back and your neck and your shoulder muscles to start aching. Minutes, minutes. Also, I hold the wool in my lips so that I can put it, so I can use it and have it readily available. Makes my chin so itchy, like, it's awful. It's so awful. I may be complaining, but I am still grateful that we have shows to go to. I think they're going to close down in the next couple of weeks. But um, as of now, we have shows all the way to October. So cross your fingers. We're still going to get them. Almost dry. Oh my God. Did you so fluffy and did, soft. Feel them. Did you spray the... Did you, oh. So she needs to be when they're fully dry. Uh -huh. And only their butt, legs, mane, and... They've yeah, lost tail. weight. They're getting a little thinner. Which, oh, that's fine. They're yeah. all fat except for she's... Yeah. So Sophie's going to have to... Oh. Why? I have a splinter. Oh my goodness. Poor baby. It's right there. Gabby is buttoning Stormy Boy. So Gabby and I have a new way of doing show prep. I braid, she buttons. So she's buttoning it's him. 3.43. Yeah, I should go. And... When did we come here? There's only one person like my newest TikTok. Only like one person liked your newest TikTok? Yeah. Oh. Only one person saw it. Oh, like it. So Chino's already. Well, he's almost already. Gabby has to do his bridal path, but he has 21. You can't even see from the light. 21. Gorgeous looking braids. And he was a good boy. He's the easiest one to braid. No, he he was a nightmare for me. He has Yeah, but he was a nightmare. He was nine. Or ten. Okay. So listen, I'm gonna go. You start braiding thin when I get, before I get back. If I don't go back and go now, I will be, it's not gonna work out, okay? I had to braid them all, except for one. Sophie did Finn's hair for the first time ever. I'm so proud. Gabby buttoned and Sophie braided. Awesome job, Sophie. Gabby, they look really good. Look at these, spot on his head. What look at these name? pure white kittens. He had really fun names for them. These are Brandon's it little hates kittens. It me. Aww. It loves me. Don't let it get down. So cute. Pure white with a little tiny gray on the top. That has more gray. We have. You're not my best. It costs more than you. 
It is 7 to 30. It is dark out already. We are going to be up at the crack of dawn, you guys. We have to be at the barn at 5 a.m. We are going to be there at 5 a.m. Um, we have a lot to do when we get home. We still have to clean all of our tack. We have to have showers. I have to edit. We have to get packed up for tomorrow. A bunch of crazy, you guys. That's what happened. Uh oh. Something bad happened. Ambulances. Those are just fire trucks. Huh. It's the house for sale. It's scary. We guys have an awesome Saturday and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Wish us luck. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way